Is this you? Hey, honey, I'm just gonna put the kids wagon up real quick. All right, be it in a second. Or maybe this. Speaking of cornhole, bruh, let me just throw this in the garage. If you're anything like me, you're using your garage as a workshop, but inevitably you're gonna wanna store some of your large outdoor activities in your garage, but you don't want your workshop to get in the way of your storage or your storage to get in the way of your workshop. Today, we're gonna to solve that problem by building some storage in front of the garage door. I'm gonna be using my own set of plans for this project, so stay tuned to learn more and get a discount. We have all the two by four pieces cut to length so we can start thinking about how to put the frame together. We're gonna cut half laps into all the pieces and sandwich them together, which will add a lot of necessary strength to the frame. If you haven't cut half laps before, don't worry. I'm gonna show you three different ways to cut them, starting with the circular saw. The second way we're gonna cut the half laps is with the miter saw. Most come with an adjustable stop so you can set the depth and not cut all the way through your piece. Like with the circular saw, we're gonna make a series of cuts and then clean it up with the chisel. The third and fastest way I'll show you how to get half laps is at the table saw with a data stack. Now this did take me a lot longer to set up, especially because I took the time to dial it in with a couple of scrap pieces. But what this does mean is that I no longer have to measure and I can really crank through the rest of the pieces really quickly. Now that the half laps are all cut, assembly should be pretty easy. We'll snap everything together and secure it with glue and countersunk screws, starting with the side frame.
the pieces of the frame assembled right over here, but I need a place to put them together, so I need to clear out all of that. Uh, this might take a while. All right, we've got everything cleaned up. It was super easy and quick. My original plan was to assemble the frame first before moving on to the plywood, but I realized I'm kind of out of room for the plywood breakdown. So I'm gonna break it all down on my nice clean floor, then move on to the framing. It is hot and humid around right now, but we have all the plywood cut down to size and we even cleaned up after ourselves. Again. Now I can assemble the frame. Since I'm doing it by myself, I'm gonna use clamps to hold everything together while I get secured with glue and screws. The framing is coming along very nicely, but before we finish it up, we do wanna go ahead and notch out the shelf panels and install them. It's gonna be a lot easier to do that now before we frame out the rest of the top. The framing is done, so the last step is to add the panels and then this project is done. I'm gonna use my brad nailer to keep things in place so the panel doesn't fall and hit me in the face while I come around and secure it with screws. I'm not using glue because I wanna have the ability to remove the panels and modify this in the future if I ever need to. with how the garage shed turned out. It is super strong and has a ton of storage space for our door activities on the door side. On the shop side, it gives me a lot of options for storage and organization projects in the future. I have a full set of inexpensive plans on my website for the garage shed, and you can save even more by using code GSHED21 at checkout. If you wanna get more organized in your shop while also saving space, I've got videos on how to do just that pulled up right over here. So I'll see you in that video.